Okay, so at the moment we have our cards displaying as such. So we have these two image views and it's displaying it. But when we actually deal cards, we just want to have a view and we want to add in more cards as we flip them out. So we're actually going to undo a little bit of the work that we've done, uh, but a lot of what you've learnt will be will be reused. So we're going to create a new function called create card. Okay, and we're also going to have some global variables which we're we're going to manipulate. We want to have the deal account. So how many cards have we given to the dealer? Uh, we'll set this to zero initially. And we'll also have a player count, so we know how many cards we have given to the player. And we'll also have a boolean value called turn. This will determine uh, whose turn is it, it's on, because when we deal with blackjack, uh, we tend to be one to the player, one to the dealer, or one to one player and one to another player. So we need to make sure that we have this set up. Okay, so instead of uh, going to my main storyboard and adding in my image view, I'm actually going to do this dynamically. So let uh, card view equal ey image view. Okay, um, and then we're going to create the card view, card view frame. Okay, we'll set the x coordinate. Uh, so my x coordinate, I'm going to make it come, I'll show you my picture, 50 off the edge, and then I'm going to use my count to manipulate it. So this is my buffer, 50, plus whatever my dealer count is. times 50, so each card is going to be separated by 50. Okay, my Y uh, for my dealer is just going to be 100. Uh, the width of my frame is 83, so it's going to be a little bit smaller than what we were using before, and my height will be 121. Okay, and then the card view dot image will equal UI image named Okay, and we're going to, instead of uh, just taking a random card, we're actually going to remove the last uh, card from the deck. So my deck dot remove last. Okay, so I'll get my last card from the deck. Okay, now at the moment this is just uh, creating, oops, sorry, I missed an eye there. Uh, UI image view. Um, so at the moment it's going to only create one card. Obviously, we want to create multiple cards depending on which turn it is. So we need to add in a little bit of logic here. If the turn is equal to true, true, and my deal account is less than five, you can manipulate this depending on the rules for your game. Then we want to do those things. So let's put them inside there. Okay, and we'll increase our deal account. So deal account plus equals one. It's the same thing as going equals deal account plus one. Okay, that's just shorthand. So plus equals one. And we want to turn the, the turnover. Okay, and then we'll do the opposite for the other player. So if the turn is equal to false and the play account is less than five, then I want to do these things. And then I want to do the opposite of this. So play account plus equals and change it to true. Okay, it's always good to have a default statement. So else print uh, Just so we know that it's reached my maximum, uh, we can do that there. Oops, I spelled false wrong there. False. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is we've we've defined our view, but we haven't actually added it to uh, the uh, the view that we're displaying. So view dot add sub view, and then we're going to add in our card view. Okay, so we've got our little method here. Uh, we're going to create a card, we made these global variables. Um, since they're global, I'm going to move them to the top, just because I like to keep all of my 
uh, top line things at the top so I know where all my declarations are. Okay, so we have created our card, create a blank uh, image view. If the turn is true and the deal account is less than five, then define the frame um, and change that. Oh, one thing I've missed here. I didn't change this to play account when I copy and pasted it. Okay, so my play account is there and at the moment they're on the same Y axis. You see that there, they're sitting on Y, so that means they're gonna be on top of each other. Let's make this one 300 and this one 100. Okay, the last thing we need to do, we defined our function, but we haven't actually called it. So we need to find our view did load. Oh, sorry, not our view did load. We need to find our button press. Okay, and in here we can call create card. Okay, so now when I run my project, okay, and I hit this, get one card, then another card, another card, another card, another card. That should keep going until we have five, and then I can see in my output down here, no more cards are being dealt. Okay, so we need to do a little bit of cleanup here. The first thing you'll notice, so I'm gonna stop and run this again. Now, if you can remember what I dealt before. King, queen, jack, 10. See, so all the cards are in number order, okay? So we haven't actually shuffled our deck, so let's fix that first. Go down to view, did load, where we create our new deck. My deck dot shuffled. Now, when I run it, hopefully we should see some different cards showing up. Okay, so now we're actually getting some different cards. Okay, so let's do a little cleanup. We're gonna get rid of these cards which sit behind there. Okay, so inside here, uh, in my button deal, I don't wanna do this anymore, so delete that. Uh, I also need to break these, but when you break these, if I delete the code, it won't actually get rid of the outlet. So the first, best thing to do is go to your main storyboard, click on the top level uh, yellow button there, and you'll see here on the side, I can see my outlets here. And as I highlight them, it shows up. Press on that little X, and then your code, you'll see that now these are hollow because there's no more link, and then you can delete them. Okay, and these, I can then just delete. So now when I run, I now have nice clean space.